So, you want to install ENSP on a modern version of Windows 10 to learn how to use Huawei's enterprise networking devices, but you're running into weird problems, like where to find it and how to get it working. I want you to be able to simulate some of their products so that you can learn their network ecosystem without having to get your hands on actual equipment, which costs actual money. But first, let's deal with what is ENSP. ENSP, or the Enterprise Network Simulation Program, is used to virtualize Huawei's enterprise networking devices and helps with learning their products and testing before purchase and deployment. To get going, you'll need a computer running Windows 10 with the following requirements. A dual-core CPU that has some sort of virtualization feature, most of them do nowadays. Uh, about four gigabytes of RAM. You can have less, but you won't be able to run more than three devices at a time. You also want to make sure that client Hyper-V is not installed. It conflicts with Oracle VirtualBox, which ENSP uses to run on most devices. NPCAP also must not be installed. ENSP uses an old version of Wireshark, uh, which uses WinPCAP. So you need to remove the newer version of Wireshark if you have it, or NMAP if you have it, because those newer versions and software will bring NPCAP along. You also need to download ENSP. You can get a safe version of it from me in the link in the description. And you also need to have downloaded Oracle VirtualBox version 5.244. Again, you can also get this from a link in the description. Once you are ready and you've downloaded everything, unzip the NSP file that you downloaded and go into the folder that is created. There'll be two folders in there. ENSP version or V100R003C something something and ENSP V100R003C something something. You want to go to the VR, sorry, the V100R002 folder first and run the installer. The installation wizard will pop up and you can click your way through the welcome screen. Agreeing to the license agreement, selecting the installation location, start menu folder, desktop icon creation, and then you will land on a part of the screen that tells you it will install WMP Cap, Wireshark, and VirtualBox version 5.1.24. These installers will run in a little bit, but you do need to make sure that it is VirtualBox version 5.1.24. It is the highest official version that ENSP will work with, but we'll be able to push our luck a little bit later on with a newer version of VirtualBox. For now, make sure that these items are all selected and click Next. Now, ENSP will begin installing, and depending on your computer, this can take a while, but I'll speed up the video now so that we can move on. Now that the software installer has done its job, WinPCAP will pop up first. And you can click your way through that, choosing all the defaults for that installation wizard. Then comes the Wireshark installer. Again, choosing all the options, including leaving WMP cap option unchecked because we've already installed it in the previous stage. And you can carry on through the rest of the installation wizard. Then comes VirtualBox. It might open other under, underneath other windows sometimes, so just keep an eye on your taskbar in case that happens. Again, we'll pick the defaults, and once it finishes, you'll probably want to uncheck the option to start it. We'll check on it later. All right, now we should be at the end of this ENSP version 1.2 installer wizard. I suggest unchecking the launch and show update log for now. We'll do this later. Now you want to hop back one folder so that you can go into the ENSP v100r003 something something folder. And I want you to run the installer that you find in there. This will update your ENSP installation from version 1.2 to version 1.3. You can click your way through the menu leaving the default choices as they are. You'll get to a part of the installer where it will check when PCAP, Wireshark, and VirtualBox are installed. If they are not, you'll need to fix that as the installer doesn't bring that supporting software along. I'll speed up the video again now, but it may take a while depending on your computer. Once it is done, uncheck the option to launch ENSP and show the update log because we don't want to see that just yet. I want to show you the issue with running ENSP on Windows 10 any version of Windows 10 that came out after 2020. If you try and open VirtualBox uh, when it's in version 5.1.24, it will give you this error. So the solution is to unzip the file that contains the VirtualBox installer for version 5.244. Although not officially supported by ENSP, it does work with Windows 10. And it's still okay for now, until Microsoft decides it's not safe enough anymore. Then just run through the install wizard and leave the defaults as they are. This is the last time in this video, I promise. And uh, now you can double click on VirtualBox to check if it works. 
please do not update it. ENSP does not work with anything newer. Not version 6, not version 7. You should see 5 VMs in the area over here. Leave them be and don't delete them. ENSP uses them. Now you can try launching ENSP. It will want admin rights each time you open it. So you must have admin rights, but you would have needed them to get to this point in the installation anyway. All right, with well, the first time you open it, if you're using the Windows firewall, it will prompt you a few times uh, to let ENSP through the firewall. Twice the first time that you launch ENSP, and once when you go in and run your first switch. Choose what you like, but there's a little worry about uh, letting ENSP through the firewall. Uh, what it does is it allows you to bridge a virtual network topology you create to a real network, or to link VMs in, in VirtualBox into the topology that you've made. If you have any other software firewall installed, then it may still need you to allow ENSP through. Uh, it all depends on what you've replaced the Windows firewall with. Now, every time you open the ENSP, it'll give you this warning to tell you that you must let it through the firewall, but we just did that, so it won't be a problem now. But it will happen every time you open it. Now, you'll want to test your install. In the top left window, there is an icon to create a new blank topology. Do that and then go and grab an AR2220 router. Uh, then once you've done that and clicked it into the workspace, then you want to go and click on the switch icon, and then you want to click and drag a S5700 into the work area. Then go to the wireless devices, and click and drag an AC6005 and an AP2050 into the working area. Once you've done that, you can click and drag around these four devices, and once they're highlighted in orange, you can click on the green play button to start them all up. Be patient with this progress bar. Even if you do have a kick-ass CPU, it can take a while for the devices to start up. Uh, virtualizing network appliances for simulation purposes has always been a bit slow on normal computers. Once the progress bar disappears, the network device icons should have gone a paler blue. And you can click on this button to open all the command line interface for these devices. Oh look, there's the third firewall prompt we've been waiting for. This one only triggers when you run a switch for the first time. When you open all the CLIs, you'll see some hash marks indicating booting progress. Switches are usually the first to finish, then the routers, then the wireless access points, and finally the wireless access controller. You can run the, the, the command display version in each of them to check the in the output for the device's model name. But as soon as you see the prompt, say, either Huawei in square brackets or the model number in square brackets, you should be good to go. Now, if you had any errors when you launch the devices, I will be creating a video for how to fix those common errors. I'll also look at creating a video on how to install ENSP in Windows 11 and probably do some videos on how to use it properly. All right. Thanks for watching and see you next time.